Hi everyone, now we're going to go through the project details. So in week three, we're going to start our machine learning project. The important part about this is we're first going to form sub-teams of size three. You can do this by identifying two other classmates who you want to work with, for example, friends or people who you found on the class forum on Coursemology who are interested in doing like-minded projects like you. After that, we will be forming you into actual project green, uh, teams of size six. The whole point of this exercise is to give you some influence about who you want to work with, but not letting you dictate everything because we have found in the past, there are some students who already have some machine learning experience and it creates some class imbalance. So there's going to be some random assignment facilitated by us where we select teams, subgroup teams, that have similar interests and pull them together. So you're going to have to do this by week three, and then in week four, we're going to form our project teams, and they will be of size six. You're going to have to then convene your group meetings for each of your project, for your project team, and come up with a one-page proposal that's going to be due on week five. So the templates are already out there and so are the grading rubrics. In fact, in this course, you're going to be doing peer evaluation for two milestones of which the project proposal is one of them. So that means in week six, one week later, you're gonna to have to do the peer grading of two other teams that also are similar to you in doing some project work. Uh, using similar techniques or of uh, similar interests. In the second half of the course, though, we're going to be differentiating people a little bit. And that's going to start with the interim project deadline. Okay, the interim project consultations are going to be in weeks eight and nine, and there'll be 15 minute slots in which your group will have to prepare a bunch of presentation slides, around five or so, which you're going to have to present that propose the project and then any updates about progress that you've made. During that time period, there will be a chance for you to select whether your team is interested in showcasing your project at the SOC Term Project Showcase, or STEPS for short. Teams that are presenting in STEPS will go through the right timeline in which uh, you have slightly longer to do all of your project deadlines, but you'll also be compelled to do a project showcase that is a public presentation of your project. So we will be nominating teams, or you can self-nominate yourself for a slot in steps, where teams that are doing something novel, uh, original, or interesting will be more likely to ask to present. For those teams not presenting in steps, then you'll follow the left-hand side, okay? In the left-hand side, you'll have to turn in your milestones a little bit earlier, but you'll be then free uh, to finish your project report at a more leisurely pace. So let's see how this works out in terms of our timeline. For steps teams, again, you will have a first uh, the initial project consultation with staff in weeks eight and nine, and then a second non-graded consultation where you can ask questions and get more feedback from us without any bias from week 10 and 11. STEPS teams will then have to complete their project posters and videos right before the STEPS showcase itself, which happens on the 13th of November. On the 14th of November evening, you will have to do the peer grading of all the projects. So this time gap between when the projects and videos are due and the peer grading deadline is quite short. For non-STEPS teams, however, it's a little bit more relaxed. You will have to submit your project posters and videos a little bit early so we don't expect the same level of in-depth results as in the steps teams. And then you have, again, the whole week to do the peer grading, okay? 
the project reports for both steps and non-steps teams are due at the same time. So those teams not going through steps may be able to complete more of their project that they'd like to do and turn it in in a revised version for their project report. And that's basically all of the project information in a nutshell. There's more information about the project and how to do it in the project videos that we'll show you later on. Good luck with your projects. <laughs>